step in, step in, step in. Remember, you're going to have to do this for one minute straight. Okay, all of these are done for one minute. After you complete all three range, uh, planes of motion, you get a 30 second rest. Right, the next thing is we can pick up the pace a little bit. Intermediates, turn it more into a jog. Okay, for one minute straight. Not simple, not easy. All right, next one. We go to the advanced level, we gotta sprint this one out. Here, sprint, almost a high knee. Okay, for one minute straight, high intensity level. Next, we step up, we move now in the frontal plane, side to side. What do we do here? A skier move, side to side. But we start, as always, with the basic level, and we step it out, step behind. Step it out and behind, just like this. Step and behind. Guys, some of the strongest guys cannot do this routine. I didn't say it was easy, I said it was simple. And if you find that you're struggling with this, it's because you are too one-dimensional in your training. I don't care how strong you are, you need to be able to translate that into something more athletic. Intermediate guys, more of a hop, okay? Cadence is still a little bit on the lower end, but the hop is increasing the effort. And then finally, the advanced guys, much more explosive. Hop, 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 cross over, right? Side to side. Side to side, back and forth. Let your arms help to control your body in space. That's two planes. That would be the second minute. The third minute, we take now through a rotational plane, transverse plane. We get in this move here. The key is, it's called a step through. You step through with your leg, but you also rotate the hips. That's key no matter what level you're doing here. If you want to get the rotational benefits, you rotate the hips. Rotate, rotate, step through. Hands stay down. This way. Intermediate guys, a little bit more speed. Hands stay down. Advanced guys, hand comes up and the speed comes up dramatically. Okay, let's kick through. So now, I'm going to take you through and show you how to do this minute by minute. Remember, pick the level that challenges you the most but still allows you to do it after the first three minutes. You get a 30 second rest, repeat it again. 30 second rest, repeat it one more time. There's your 10 minutes. Let's walk through this right now. So there you have it guys, a workout that you can do in just 10 minutes. If you don't wind up like me, at least a little bit out of breath, then you haven't done it right guys, because that is the deal we're making here. Trade in some of that length for intensity, and I promise you the results will be there for you. It does not have to be complex. It can be very, very simple to do, but it should still be hard and challenging. There's a big difference. If you're looking for workouts that make you work hard, but they work really well in return, head to athletics.com right now and get one of our programs. If you like the video, 